Praise the Lord. These are the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of the Latter-day Daniel. That's my name. And uh, it's time that I come forth as a fisher of men, but a fisher of love to stir up your love unto overflowing. For that is Christ within us. For those who love are born of him and know him, born again, and know him because he is love. So it's time that we realize that, you know, many of us, we go fishing all our lives without knowing uh, it's not the fish that we're really after. We're wanting companionship and friendship in this hour, especially in this hour of uh, COVID, the trial of all flesh that has come bringing God's word of patience to us to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to change by his love. And know that when you fish for love, um, it's one thing. You got to bait with your heart, not with your brain. It is so important, and we got to get along together in the great, the great uh, aquarium of life. And it's time to know that of all the fish in the sea, uh, we can be the most glad that our Lord Isa Yeshua Jesus swam towards us. And for that reason, he has ascended into being the good shepherd over all the flocks of men because his kingdom age covenant has been given to all men. Because up till now, uh, it's just been a fact that fishes live in the sea as men do on the land. And the great ones eat up the little ones. But this will not remain the case. For these are days where the wheat and the tares cannot grow together. And there will become a reversal of the curse. The curse of unloving ways. So never forget that only dead fish swim uh, with the stream. We must swim upstream in order to survive. And know that fish are never free from anxiety since big fish are always eager to eat the little ones and all living entities are eaten by bigger living entities. That is the way of nature. But now Christ comes forth as the biggest whale of all so that like Jonah, he can swallow all of mankind and we can abide within his love. And trust me, it'll be much better than casting a hook into the water. And it's time that we all turn around and realize that uh, his living water is what we are uh, swimming in. That is an uh, ocean of his adoration, great seas of his benevolence, his beneficence, and his charity, his best wishes coming forth. But uh, fish has no concept of water just as we have no concept of his love if we are not in tune with it so praise the lord it's time that we all come to a new place of a new understanding of his love and know that love is a net that will catch all of our hearts just like fish and know that our greatest glory is not in falling but in rising every time we fall so let's be like fish jumping out of the water but never leaving his living water always returning always needing more and when once you fully drink of his living water you will never thirst again so praise God that these are the days of Elijah, the days where we just need to keep swimming and swimming and swimming, never giving up, never looking back, only looking forward, because these are magnificent days. These are glorious days, days for the Jubilee of Jubilees to begin. And these are the days of celebration, because now the Lord is revealing his love is, is never an offer just to teach us to swim, but to, 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 to let us be taught of our own self. We know how only if we will. But one thing's for sure, everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that is that it, it is stupid, said uh, Albert Einstein. So it's time to realize more than ever that uh, no pills, no pills ever made. And I, I, I'm an alcoholic uh, of uh, revelation. 
And uh, if that is possible, just as uh, Genesis 49, 12 says, I have eyes red and dull of wine, one transgressed by wine of Habakkuk 2, 2. Uh, but even though uh, the just will live by my faith. So know that not even aspirin and certainly no supplements at all could ever enter our mouths. Uh, anything that we need more must come from what God wants to place in our mouths. For we cannot live by living bread uh, only. We need the, the living water that is around us. So it's time to, to ascend. Love from love, and until next time, deep calls unto deep, if you're willing to go there. For we must leave the safety of our shores. For Christ is the great pearl of, of great reward, the priceless one. But he's calling us out into the deep. That is why he said, who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? So welcome to this mountain of, of food uh, of Isaiah 25. It is foretold that all upon this mountain shall have all their shame and their guilt removed. And that is the spirit of prophecy pointing to Christ unbelievable love so it's time to go deeper than ever before because he is the treasure of excellence and the excellence of treasure so ask yourself are you the wheat or the tares because the wheat will come with me and we're going to be sharks in this world so get ready sharpen your fangs of love and let's do some ripping <laughs> hey that to me that sounds like a good ripping idea. I'm coming to you from the north of Isaiah 41's prophecy that the message unto Israel would be from the north. And praise God, they're, they might, they ain't saying a mumbling word. I am ignored, just as it says in Isaiah 41, that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, and now they are Chrislam. Uh, they've inherited Christians and Islamics. Isaiah 62, 2 foretold their new name. So praise the Lord. All I know is within a time, times and a half a time, shall the shattering of the power of the holy people be, which just means cannons will open. It has to because this is the message of the Lamb that he has sent forth for the kingdom, age, peace, and people are just rejecting it and spitting in his face. Yeah, go figure. It's foretold. Yeah.